Hey guys, thanks for the click, much appreciated. I've been doing some research on air assist for laser cutting, and the plain and simple is, the more air pressure you have blowing across your material, the better. With the increased air pressure, it'll blow away most of the smoke, soot, and debris away from the laser beam, resulting in a cleaner, faster, and deeper cut. With lower pressures being blown across your work surface, the laser beam will actually burn the smoke, soot, and debris, causing charring and burning on the top surface of your material. The Mira 7 has a built-in air assist system that blows about 2 to 3 psi over your material. It's okay, but it's not great. But with a compressor and a regulator, you can now regulate higher air pressures to be blown over your material. So I bought this air compressor from California Compressors. It's supposed to be an ultra-quiet compressor. And I also bought a regulator from Eon. They set this regulator to output 25 PSI. So in the long run, we will be blowing 25 PSI over our material. This guy's supposed to be ultra quiet. I'm also gonna do a sound test on this. So let me move this compressor to the floor where it's gonna be, and I'll show you more of how I'm gonna do this setup. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so I move the compressor onto the floor and I roll it to the side of the Mira 7. And now I'm going to show you how simple it is to make this connection. All you have to do is push the standard male quick plug into the quick connect coupler. You pull back on the outer sleeve and push it into the quick coupler. Now grab the smaller black hose and push that into the air inlet port in the back of the Mira 7. It has a label that says air inlet. Once you do that, you're done. You can now turn on your compressor in your Mira 7 and start cutting. But after inspecting my setup, I realized that the regulator and hose are sticking out way too much. And since I don't have much space in my project room, I could easily walk into it and damage the regulator. So after taking a closer look, I unplugged it and I thought about redirecting the plumbing to the back wall and maybe even mount the regulator on the wall, keeping it out of the way and higher up so it can be easier to see. So I unplugged everything and I took the compressor to the garage to do some plumbing modifications. I started off by removing the quick coupler and attaching a quarter inch threaded nipple. I then screwed on a quarter inch brass tee using Teflon tape at all my connections. I then reconnected the quick coupler followed by a quarter inch brass cutoff ball valve so I can cut off the pressure to the regulator if needed. I then connected a 3 8 inch push connector. When done, I turned on and applied pressure to the connections to check for leaks. All's good. Now let's modify the regulator. I removed the quarter inch push connector and I connected a 90 degree elbow. After that, I reconnected the push connector. It will now point in the downward direction. And finally, I removed the standard male quick plug and connect a 90 degree 3 8 inch push connector. Now the 3 8 inch tubing will point in the downward direction. I then go back to the project room and I screw the regulator to the wall at eye level. I now return the compressor back to the floor next to the Mira 7. I plug the compressor to power and I'm now ready to turn on the compressor to do a sound test. All right guys, now that the compressor is plugged in, I think I'm gonna do a quick sound test so you can see how loud it is in decibels. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the compressor now for a few seconds. Well, it looks like it's reading 79 to 80 decibels. And to be honest, it doesn't sound too loud. You can actually have a normal conversation over the compressor while speaking at normal levels. So I'm now going to go ahead and turn off the compressor so I can hook up the rest of the air connection. I push in a short length of 3 8 inch PVC tubing to the compressor side. I then connect the other side to the input side of the regulator. I now push in the quarter inch black hose into the output side of the regulator. And finally, I push in the other side of the hose into the air inlet on the back of the Mira 7. Well guys, the compressor and regulator are hooked up and fully pressurized. I like the modifications I made. I think the hoses and the parts are now out of the way and I feel safe walking around the compressor. 
So the compressor is holding a pressure of 90 PSI, and as we go toward the regulator, the gauge on the regulator reads about 27 PSI. I later adjusted it to 30 PSI. It's now time to turn on the mirror 7 and do a side-by-side -side test cut. I loaded up a piece of 1 8 inch unmasked maple plywood into the mirror 7, and I sent this file to the laser for the first tests. If you notice in the cuts and layers window, I have the air turned off on each one of the cut processes. This may be a little misleading. Just because I have it turned off doesn't mean there will be no air blowing out of the nozzle. The Mira 7 has a built-in smart solenoid system which toggles between the low pressure, the built-in air pump, and the high pressure, the external compressor, with light burn. Using the air assist toggle, you can switch between both of them. The smart solenoid also has a built-in safety feature that will default back to the internal air pump in the case of a failure of the external air pump. This should help reduce the risk of having zero air during a cut in most cases. So in this test, the external compressor will be toggled off in light burn, which will cause the smart solenoid to turn on the internal air assist. The only way to turn off the internal air assist would be to disconnect it from the DIN rails that provide the 120 volts when the machine is powered on. So now that we know all that, let me go ahead and start the first test. And immediately right out of the gate, you can see the laser cut generating a whole bunch of smoke. The low pressure built-in air assist isn't strong enough to push the smoke away from the laser beam. And it's the smoke and the debris from the cut that is causing the scorching and the burning that you are seeing forming on the top surface of the material. So let's go ahead and allow this test to finish before going on to the next test. So now that this first test is complete, I'm going to send the next cut file to the laser. The speed and power settings in this job are identical to the first test. The main difference in this test is that the air assist is toggled on in light burn, which will cause the smart solenoid to turn off the internal air assist and turn on the external compressor valve. You can never have both air systems working at the same time. So let's go ahead and start this test. Keep an eye on the regulator on the upper right corner. The second the job starts, you'll see the needle drop down to 25 PSI. That's because the smart solenoid will have opened the valve to the external compressor. You'll also hear a long hiss. That's the 25 PSI being blown out of the nozzle. The 25 PSI will continue to blow out of the nozzle until the job ends and then you'll see the needle on the regulator move back to 30 PSI. That's because the smart solenoid will have closed the valve to the compressor. The main difference in this job is that you are seeing little to no smoke. The smoke is being blown away due to the stronger air pressure. So all I have left to do is to remove the two test cut pieces from the Mira 7 and place them on the workbench for inspection under better lighting. Now here's the first test with the external compressor off and the low pressure air assist on. Scorching and burning all over the entire area where the laser was cutting. Now here's the second test with the external compressor on. This test is virtually scorchless with little to no burn marks. Having an external compressor hooked up to your Mira 7 will almost eliminate the need for masking, which will save you time and money. So guys, take your pick. Which cut results would you choose? Well, this wraps up this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope by you watching this that you are convinced to attach a compressor to your laser. Trust me, you will not be sorry. Please like and subscribe to my channel. My dog would greatly appreciate it. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and until my next video, have a great day and God bless.